hi guys welcome to my videos so guys today in this video uh, we are going to talk about how to prepare and pass the exam pl 900 microsoft certified power platform fundamentals so before i proceed further if you have not already subscribed to my channel please unsubscribe right now so guys recently i passed this certification exam and i did it in my first attempt so i'm going to share my experience and tips with you which may or may not help you but most probably they will because if somebody like me can do you can do so guys power platform is a very rich platform with a lot of capabilities and microsoft consistently enhancing its capabilities it's always good to have experience in this i have experience in this so to be honest with you guys like for me this exam was easier because a lot of these concepts i have practiced professionally okay now coming down to the exam few things you need to understand that it's gonna be fundamental so don't be like too much stress that what will come into the exam how you will go through it you will get through it easily there is no problem about that so no worries okay so uh, like when it comes to uh, exam like i did not purchase any uh, training course for this although there are so many available on various platforms i did not purchase any training instead few concepts i studied on my own like power bi power virtual agents these things i studied on my own and other also like i have like so much of experience with power automate and power apps and, and other concepts too but these two i had like much experience so these two were very easy for me now coming to the preparation uh, like i did practice a lot of uh, sample exams that you get on microsoft and when you practice the exam even though you answer a question correctly they show you detailed explanation at the bottom of the question screen you must read it you must understand because they just don't explain the correct option they also explain the incorrect option so if you understand them that will really build your concept and that will help you so when i registered for the exam i got free test for uh, measure up as well around they had like 152 questions and that also really helped me they also provided explanations and you need to read and understand the explanations there are links you can read and that will start building up your concepts like how to tackle the situation and i also purchased three practice tests from uh, udemy i did not purchase uh, purchase the training course but practice test and there also they had like detailed explanation given for every question that really helped me when i went for the examination i was given 38 questions to answer and 45 minutes in total so i completed my exam there were like uh, 30 minutes in uh, in 30 minutes i completed my exam and uh, most of the questions like i would if i divide uh, there were two questions that i had no idea at all uh, out of 38 so uh, i had guessed the answers of course like because it's there's no negative marking so do not skip any question even if you don't know just put an answer mark it for review later on you can review but do not skip any question so that i did and for uh, others most of the questions i was sure about the answer some questions i was like few options i was sure few options i was not but i was getting through it one thing you need to definitely understand guys you need to read question first read the question statement paragraph first and understand it first slight misunderstanding there will change your uh, answer and you will lose marks okay you need to understand well sometimes uh, you may think that oh this looks familiar and it's talking about something that but there could be some words that are not what you think are and that may uh, have a different answer so read questions really well find out how many uh, they are asking uh, answer they are expecting because they say like uh, many times you have to select multiple answers to a question so they select two select three so make sure you go after that and uh, after you read and understand the question well then go after options and then do of course like do not lose your heart there is nothing to worry about this exam if you do not pass in first attempt you can take another attempt so don't worry it's not something like once allowed exam so don't worry about that go after the exams and when you do practice exams at home focus on 
questions and answers and explanation all three and understanding question is very important because when i was doing my practice sometimes i did foolish mistakes that i realized oh if i could have uh, uh, focused on the question part i could have answered it correctly so you have to do that you have to focus on the question part because some questions could be tricky they may try to confuse you but don't do that understand it well and then go after the answers and if you follow this approach that will definitely help you i got like 83 uh, 833 out of 1000 so out of 1000 700 is a passing score and you and i passed with 833 and you do get surveys you go you do get options to comment about the questions but i skipped them why would i do commenting about the questions because or, or to be honest with you guys like after i finished my exam when i clicked on submit my heart was pumping very hard i was thinking like, oh my god what's going to be the answer what's going to be the outcome when i saw the congratulations message that time i realized and after passing the exam uh, within an hour i got an email from microsoft with the badge and that you can see on your screen so i'm really happy about it that fi- i finally achieved it so as i said like this is not something too difficult but you have to be focused so stay focused stay on it guys you will definitely get through it if you work hard so thanks for watching this video guys please subscribe to the channel if you have any specific question about the exam um anything that you did not understand or any concept that you want me to clear for you you can always comment on it thanks for watching guys